How does it work? Do I actually add it on? So would it be SPF 40 in total if that's 15 and the other is 25? Or because this is lower, the 25 cancels that one out? I'm not quite sure. If you're an expert in that, let me know. I don't like when I put eyebrow gel in my eyebrows, fly around and do whatever they want. No. My eyebrows need to stay where I put them. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and to a new video. Today I want to show you my spring makeup bag which I have right here and I want to go through every single product with you and I also show you how to apply it and how it looks on me which I actually just wear every single item on my face right now. So if you like the makeup look stay tuned so you can see what I've applied. And moving into spring I normally try to go away from all the heavy foundations and the heavy products and I go towards lighter products, SPF products, products that are easy to apply. It's basically, I, I don't know why, but I love applying products with my fingers in like spring and summertime and also a lot of cream based products. So I would say without further ado, let's jump right into it. And this is my makeup bag. As you can see, it has a little fox on the front, which does look a bit silly. I'm aware of that, but I like it. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is my makeup bag, which I have everything inside to create this whole look and a couple of extra bits as well. So I can swap in between like lipsticks and eye products and stuff like that so I would say let's start with product number one most importantly now as the sun's coming out again is SPF so this SPF is from Beauty Pie and it's the ultralight UVA UVB SPF 25 with hyaluronic acid and licorice extract don't ask me if what licorice extract actually does I just wanted to have an SPF that is somewhat strong so that's a 25 and I already used this product last summer and I love it because it perfectly applies under foundation and it doesn't leave this white cast on your face. It blends into your skin like a normal moisturizer and foundation applies beautifully on top. So I really, really love this product. I'm gonna link everything down for you in case you want to check it out yourself. And then moving on, I have an all-time favorite in here as well, which is my go-to spring-summer foundation, which is the Vitalumia Aqua from Chanel. And this one actually also has SPF in it, so it's SPF 15, so basically if SPF over SPF. Don't ask me, like, how does it work? Do I actually add it on? So would it be SPF 40 in total, if that's 15 and the other is 25? Or because this is lower, the 25 cancels that one out? I'm not quite sure. If you're an expert in that, let me know, because I really don't know. But basically, this is the perfect foundation if you are on a hunt for a lightweight foundation that applies into your skin and makes your skin look flawless but still like your skin so you can see everything through still like everything peeks through a little bit so you have to take a concealer to cover up your blemishes but it gives you just an overall nice coverage so i really really love this and it, i nearly ran out of this so i already have a new one in my makeup drawer and this is in the color 30 beige and it's one of those aqua based ones so you have to shake it up before you use it and moving on i have a concealer because as i said the foundation isn't that for covering i do need a concealer to cover up my spots and maybe your under eyes or my under eyes as well if i feel like it not always i'm actually quite a fan of under eyes it sounds maybe a bit weird but i feel it gives the face a bit more structure i don't know i think there is like even a trend right now where people love showing their under eyes so yeah, but sometimes I do apply a little bit to cover them up and this one is quite long lasting and quite full coverage as well and I have the color light vanilla. And moving on to my complexion, for bronzer, as I said, I kind of like to use more creamy products in spring. I feel like my skin looks much more dewy and glowy when I use a cream products, so I really like using them all over my complexion. So I start off with the bronzer, which is the Bourjois Bronzing Primer, which I already have for quite some time, so it's kind of a mousse. And it says that it is a primer, however I don't apply another bronzer on top, I just use this one and it blends in perfectly. So for applying it today I use the contour brush from Real Techniques which is the orange small brush or medium sized brush and I think it's really good to go into the cheekbones as well a little bit and kind of use it as a half bronze half contour because I'm not using the contour, I just used a bronzer today. and. It has this typical bourgeois um, bronzer smell, so if you ever bought a bronzer from them, you know, it smells a bit like chocolate, which I really love. And then for blush, I have a product that I bought a while ago, and I did show you in a video where I tried out a couple of Asian products, 
And this one is, I think so far, my favorite out of all of them, which is the 3CE Take a Layer. Oh my god, what is this? 3CE Multi Pot in the color Diotima, I think it's called. So this is basically a orangey cream blush that I apply all over my cheeks and also blend up onto my temples a little bit and also onto my nose to kind of glow up my whole skin a little bit and make it look fresh and sun-kissed. And again, I really like the idea of having a lot of cream products on my face, as I just mentioned, and it blends in so nice. And I use the same brush again as I did before because it makes it blend in much easier with the bronzer as well. And I genuinely really, really love this um, blusher here because you can also use it as a lip or eye color. So it is kind of a multi-product. As it says, it's a multi-pot, so you can use it for different things on your face but personally I just like using it on my cheeks and then because I'm not glowing enough already I do apply highlighter on top as well which is again one of my all-time favorites I have this for quite some time already and I love digging back into it and this is the wonder bronzer from soap and glory so it does say bronzer but let me show you you do also have these white areas in the bronzer and I genuinely feel like it's more of a um, highlighter so even if I go into the darker color mix those together and apply them yeah okay it does look like a bronzer it looks maybe more like a blush but like it's a really glowy blush so I'm not quite sure if I would use this as a bronzer but what I did is I went mainly into the white one so as you can see and applied the white maybe mixed a little bit with the pink onto my cheeks and I think because it is a little bit of a darker highlighter or blush, bronzer, whatever you want to name it. You can also go over your cheeks a little bit and blend it into the creamy blush that we've just applied and it kind of intensifies the glow even more without being like a really white layer on top because it has a bit of color. It just like blends in and makes your whole cheek really nice and shiny and glowy, which I'm absolutely there for in springtime. Just give me the glow, bring me the glow. I love glow in the warm weather. I absolutely adore it. So yeah, amazing product, really, really love it. And I'm moving on to my brows. I have nothing really new here. I have my all-time favorite duo, which is the Catrice Eyebrow um, Stylist and then also the Catrice Transparent Brow Gel, which the brow gel is like an absolute favorite of mine for, I would say, a year now, which is one of those eyebrow gels that glues your eyebrows down. So when I touch them now, they're like literally glued down, which I love. I don't like when I put eyebrow gel in my eyebrows, fly around and do whatever they want. No, my eyebrows need to stay where I put them. And then for the eyebrow pencil, it is just a regular pencil. There's nothing specific. There's nothing exciting about it. It is just an eyebrow pencil. I just always want to have a little spoolie on the end or like I have an extra spoolie on the side. I think that makes like all the difference if you apply any eyebrow product brush it out afterwards and sometimes I even run along the edges with my fingers to blend it out a bit more. I think there's nothing worse than when you apply eyebrow products and then you can see the harsh lines of it. And then moving on to the more exciting part which is my eyes and I have a couple of eye products here because I never, I can never decide what eye products I want to use. I love eyeshadow, I love playing around with colors and here I have my favorite items that I always go back to around springtime. Don't ask me why, I think I just like the colors around spring so it's like a, everything's like a light brown, light pink, shimmery eye combination. So starting off, I have two pr products again from Beauty Pie. I actually have a third one, but I don't have it here right now. But those are eyeshadow pins or eyeshadow sticks. So it's basically an eyeshadow in a stick form. And those are the kind of products you apply and stay on your eye all day long. And I have a light beige brown version here, which you could easily just use as a base as well. Or you just wear it on your own and blend it out. And then I have a second one which is more of a goldy color and this one is called Huntress, the previous one, the brown one was called On Top. And Huntress one is more of a goldy bronzy color. Again, really beautiful as an eyeliner, smudged out a bit or uh, all over your lid. 
blend it out or as a base for another eye product on top, another eyeshadow on top. So it's such a multi-purpose product and I absolutely love it and it stays there all day long and it's like the easiest and quickest item. So yeah, I have these ones and then I have an eyeshadow palette which again I have for quite some time already and I think there's already a newer version out of this. So I think I still have like the old version of it. So it was a really cheap product. You can tell by the quality of the packaging that it's really cheap and like half falls apart already and is made out of plastic. But the product is just so good, I really, really love it. So it is, first of all, to tell you what it is even, it is the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells eyeshadow palette. And it has three colors in it. It is really simple, so it just has a light pink, then it has a browny crease color, and then a white eyebrow color. And this is it, it is super, super simple. But again, these colors just have the nicest shimmer and glow to them. And they're not that intense either, what I actually don't really like in spring. I always feel like in spring I want to be light and pastel -y and I don't want to be too intense with colors, so this is absolutely perfect. And as I said, I think it doesn't look like this anymore. I went to Boots the other day and I saw it there in a different kind of packaging. I think it had some like different pens inside, so it was a bit like... I think it was like triangles and squares in there, like I'm not quite sure. But have a look um, if you are on the hunt for a really simple, really quick throw on eyeshadow palette. And I think this is the kind of palette that literally suits everyone. And as I mentioned, I really love in pastel colors. So I do have an eyeliner as well, which I absolutely love getting out during this time now. And that is the Catrice uh, Kajal in 170 Blues Willis. And I think it's this kind of like indigo steel blue color. I'm not quite sure how you would. Uh, describe this shade of blue, but I really love it and I love applying it when I have this like light colors on my eyelid. I love applying it on the bottom lashes, so just like smudging it in, applying it there, blending it out with um, my finger or a little applicator or brush or something like that, just kind of like smudging it in and giving the look a little bit more oomph, <laughs> a little bit more of something. And yeah, I really, really love it. Again, it was a really cheap eyeliner, but it lasts me so well, it works so well, and I think it gives this like little extra to your eye look, which I absolutely adore. And to finish off the eyes, I love applying an eyeliner, and my all-time favorite is the one from L'Oreal, the Perfect Slim Eyeliner, which literally, it takes me like a minute on each eye, not even to apply the eyeliner. It's so simple with this eyeliner, so quick, and it just doesn't smudge. You put it on and it stays put, which is perfect when the weather gets a bit warmer so it doesn't smudge when you're sweating. Um, so yeah, there's nothing really more to say to that. It's just a beautiful eyeliner, I love it. And then a somewhat recent discovery, which is this hyped mascara, this hyped TikTok mascara, everyone's talking about it. I did a review on it as well, if you haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna link it up here for you. But it is this beautiful lengthening and thickening mascara. It's kind of a two-in-one. I, at the moment, only have one coat on. I think one coat is enough for me. I'm not the biggest fan of like multiple layers and getting spidery lashes. That's not my kind of look. But yeah, this is the Maybelline Sky High Sensational Mascara. I think it was about £10. So you get a good deal for a really good mascara here. And then finally, I have three lip products here, which are, first of all, the Revlon... Color Burst Lip Butter in 27 Juicy Papaya, which is basically a lip butter, as it says, with a little tint of orange in it. And it's one of those lip colors that you just throw on. You don't even need a mirror to put it on, and it just moisturizes your lips. It makes them look really juicy and glossy, and yeah, it's just a perfect spring color, I think. And then the second one I have is a bit more of an intense color when I feel like I go out in the evening or have an event or just want to glam up a little bit more. Then I have the Rituals Miracle Liquid Liquid Lipstick in Plum, which, as it says, it is a plum color. It is quite intense. You need about two layers on your lips to get it fully opaque, but it's an absolutely gorgeous color. And I think if you leave the blue away on your eyes and just go with like light brown and pinks, then this lip color would look absolutely gorgeous and I really really love it and I think it gives this nice pop of color which again I think for spring is just perfect. And then I have a third option which is my nude option which I always need to have as well which is like my nude pinkish brownish option. It's the L'Oreal um, Smile from and I think it was a limited edition with Isabel Morant I think that's her name and that was in the color Bestil Whistle. I really, really love it. I think it goes with everything. Again, it's a really easy throw on color 
and yeah I think you can never go wrong with just a simple nudish pink color on your lips and then I have one final product in here which it's not a beauty item really, it's not a makeup item, it is a perfume. And this is like a really small and handy perfume to have in your makeup bag because it is so tiny, it doesn't take any space away really. And this is from Rituals again and it's the Ocean... I can't really read it, there's a number on top. Ro Ocean Imprint? I think that's the name of the perfume. But it's basically this light blue one and oh, it's this really fresh... Yeah, it's just a really, really fresh but still sophisticated smell at the same time. And it has really nice spray as well. I'm not sure if you could see it. It's like, how nice that sprays. God, it's just sprayed it all over my makeup that, <laughs> that I put in front of me. But yeah, it's a really lovely smell and I think it's perfect for spring. It's like the perfect, nice, fresh spring scent in my opinion. So if you haven't tried out the Ritual smells yet, they are lovely. They have a bunch of different options. They have like a lot of small versions and also bigger versions but I'm genuinely a fan of like the small ones because I can try out different kinds um, and I already have I already bought two other ones as well the red version which is a bit of a heavier scent which is more for evenings I would say and then the darker blue one which I personally actually didn't like it was too masculine for me so I gave it to my boyfriend he's using it now and he's super happy with it so yeah those were all my bits in my makeup bag so it is empty now this is everything I am currently wearing and currently loving in springtime. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below what are your spring favorites or your spring makeup items that you always get out of your makeup drawers when spring arrives or did you buy anything new just for spring now that you really love. Please let me know down in the comments below. And otherwise, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!